Hello and welcome to Apache Kafka tutorial at Learning Journal. In the previous session, we created a Kafka producer. In this session, we will look at the internals of a producer. We will look at what is going on under the hood. We will try to understand that how a message goes from a client application to a broker. So let's get started. So the first step is to create a Java properties object and package all the producer configurations that we want to set. These settings include three mandatory configurations that we learned in the previous session and any additional properties or even custom configs. In the example that we created earlier, we used only basic configs. But I'll create some more examples in next session with other properties including custom configs. On the other side, we create a producer record and package five things in a producer record object. These five things are topic name, partition number, timestamp, key and value. Partition number, timestamp and key are optional depending upon your use case. So this object is, in fact, the message that we want to send to Kafka broker. Right? Now what? So we instantiate a producer object using the properties object. Then we send the producer record to the producer object. When the message is handed over to the producer, following things happen. The producer will apply the serializer to serialize your key and value. That's the first thing. You already know that serialization is converting your key and value objects into a byte array. And producer will use the serializer class that we specified to accomplish this. Then it will send the record to the partitioner. The partitioner will choose a partition for the message. We already discussed earlier that a default partitioner would use your message key to determine an appropriate partition. If a message key is specified, Kafka will hash the key for getting a partition number. So if you define the same key to multiple messages, all of them will go to the same partition. If message key is not specified, the default partitioner will try to evenly distribute the message to all available partitions for the topic. It uses a round robin algorithm. So few messages go to the first partition, then some go to the second and so on. So once we have a partition number, the producer is ready to send the message to the broker. But instead of sending the message immediately, the producer will keep the message into a partition buffer. So the producer maintains in-memory buffers for each partition and sends the record in batches. You might be wondering that what is the size of the batch? How much time the producer will linger waiting for more messages to arrive? We can configure all of these things by adding appropriate configuration parameters to the properties object that we used to instantiate the producer. Finally, the producer will send the batch of records to the broker. If the broker can receive and save the message, it will send an acknowledgement in the form of record metadata object. If anything goes wrong, the producer receives an error. Some errors may be recoverable with a retry. For example, suppose the leader of the partition was down. If we retry in few milliseconds, we may have a new leader elected by then. So in case of recoverable errors, the producer will retry sending the batch before it throws an exception. We can configure the number of retries and time between two retries using the configurations. The producer will not attempt for a retry if the error is not a recoverable error. So the workflow for a producer is quite simple and we can configure almost everything using producer configuration parameters. Okay, that's it for this session. In next session, 
we will cover some more details of kafka producer apis so see you again thank you for watching learning journal keep learning and keep growing